emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper with a follow-up video to last night's video, repairing this antenna tuner. Uh, last night, we replaced this transmitter capacitor after I dropped this tuner. And I thought I'd do a quick demo to show you that the actual repair job did work. And I took out the bug out bag radio here, the FT817. Got it set up here on the picnic table to retreat location. Running off this 12 volt battery that I picked up at Home Depot. And the antenna we're using here is from the bug out bag antenna. I hope you can see it there. It is a 14 megahertz dipole antenna. Let's see if I can zoom in and get that to focus. Nope, I'm gonna have to walk over there for you. So this is a, I think it's a 20 foot piece of coax here. And up there is the dipole head strung out uh, with 550 cord going over to that tree. And then over here I have it tied off to my wife's uh, post for her hammock. So that's holding up that antenna. We'll zoom back out. There's the new park grill that we installed on this trip. Okay. So I have the antenna here already kind of tuned up for 14 megahertz and it should already be close. I have the coax into the tune position. Now this is only a 5 watt radio and it's a 30 watt scale so we're not going to see a whole lot of movement on this needle but in the display it's uh, 14216 megahertz and I'm going to make sure we don't have any traffic because we don't want to interfere with anybody so that's an empty channel and I'm going to put this in AM mode so you can actually see the needle move here and key it up and you can see the needle on the left rise going about two watts uh, forward power and no reflective power and if I key it up and move this knob you'll actually see the reflective power change see in the needle there the reflective power needle is going up and down so that shows you that this capacitor is working so that's an effective repair job so I'm going to pause the camera here and show you the usefulness of an antenna tuner like I said this antenna is cut for 14 megahertz but we're going to go to 7 megahertz, and I'm going to use this tuner to make that antenna look good to the radio. So let me break here and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. I got the radio set for 7 megahertz frequency, which this antenna here clearly is not 7 megahertz. And we were able to use the tuner. We rotated for max noise. And we'll put this in lower sideband. You're a natural curiosity. And we turn this capacitor for max noise and if you can hear that shift in sound and then we adjusted these two capacitors for max noise and what I'll do is I'll put this in AM FM mode I'll turn the volume down and you can come over here hopefully and see the needle move and we get a full 5 watts out with no reflective power and if I move this knob off a little bit now look now I'm getting a little reflective power just by moving that transmitter knob. So we'll move that knob back a little bit and look at that. Reflective power is gone. So that's showing us that that repair worked. And this antenna tuner is serviceable and ready to be placed as a backup antenna tuner in the bug out bag. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a follow-up video to function check the MFJ VersaTuner 2 with the replacement transmitter capacitor.